guys, Rimmel Core 411 and welcome back to my channel. I have a very special product that I'm going to try that I have not tried. I'm going to try it with you guys. I was a little bit skeptical when I saw the consistency of it. So, um, but it's the Black Castro Miracle Growth Protection Formula for braid lock and twist. It has extra hold, okay? No parabens, no sulfates, no mineral oils, no petroleum. Black castor oil and coconut oil. African pride. So we're going to go in there and put some braids in our hair and see if we can get a bomb braid out. Because I've done a twist. I've done a twist. Twist is almost on his last leg. It's on his last leg, y'all. It's on his last leg. So... I'm going to take it off his last leg. And I'm about to go shampoo and condition my hair with my hands. And I may even find a deep conditioner. I had this, um, this TGIN Honey Miracle. It's a little packet. I think I'm going to use these two up. And put them on my head. And then I'll review these two. And let y'all know how it works. But, uh, uh kill the intro. the TGIN Honey Miracle Hair Mask in my hair. It's intense moisturizing, deep condition, heal and hydrate, dry, damaged and color treated hair with raw honey, olive oil, and that's all it says on there. Now, it stinks. It stinks to me. That could be just me. That could, that could be the raw honey that I'm smelling or whatever. But I already got it in my head. It was a free packet. So I ain't got to worry about buying it because I don't like the way it smells. There's no refreshing smell to it. Right now I'm detangling my hair with it on there. But I guess the raw honey is what I'm smelling. But honey usually, well, raw honey can have a strong smell to it. So that's definitely what I'm smelling is the raw honey. Ooh, I, I don't like the way it smells. I don't like the way it smells. How long I gotta leave this stuff on my hair? How long? How long? After shampoo and blah, 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 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes. I gotta leave it on there. 10 to 15 minutes, y'all. And then I'm rinsing this junk out. I already shampooed my hair. I'm gonna rinse this out. Come back. Get a leave-in in here. Since it's African Pride, I'm gonna try to use the African Pride leave-in conditioner. Since I already have it. It's from two totally different lines. But... How long? How long? How long? Look, look at the growth. Look at that growth. Look. Y'all better look at that growth. Y'all better look at that growth. I'm going to give y'all some tips on how y'all can grow y'all hair. So I'm going to give y'all some tips. So y'all better stick around. Because I got the tips. I got the tips. Make sure all my hair is in this bag with this raw honey and let it do its thing. I got this, this is a deep conditioning cap that I got from, um, okay. It's coming back down again. Anyway, it's a deep conditioning cap from Evolve. I got it off of Amazon and it works great. If you don't like to sit under a dryer and all that, it works great. God. That raw honey is, to, is it's really raw honey in there. That's for sure. Ooh, let me wait my 10, 15 minutes so I can get this out. 
Right, I'm back. But however, I am having problems with my tripod. I didn't taped it up e each way I can tape it. Um, Real McCoy 411 is my app, uh, cash app. If y'all want to help a sister get another tripod because this one is acting up and it's it's aggravating me. It is aggravating me. Real McCoy 411 is my cash app. If y'all want to send a couple dollars or something just to help me get another tripod because this is crazy. This is crazy. Okay, back to my hair. As long as I can talk about it because it may go down again. But my hair is very moisturized. Yes, it stank. But it smells just like that raw honey. But my hair feels so good right now. So, would I purchase it again? I take back my words. Yes, I will purchase it again. I would, I would just be aware now of how it smells. So, this won't be a long video at all. I didn't even get all the... I didn't get it all out. Got it all out up there. Didn't get it all up, up here. Get back, Candy, before you make it move. See how much. Well, you know what? It's going to be a leave-in conditioner today. It won't hurt. Extra conditioner never hurts your hair. You don't have it. some conditioners are even, they say leave-in, rinse out. It's going to be mixed up with this uh, African Pride Moisture Miracle Coconut Oil and Baboa Oil Hydrate and Strength Leave-in Conditioner. Say all that. Say all that real fast. Boy, I tell you, they be coming up with these names. But I'm just going to apply some conditioner all over my head, including up here where I got some extra conditioner. So it should just be real, real soft. Now, this smells good. This smells very pleasant. So it, I was worried about if my hair was going to be smelling like raw honey but it's not it's not gonna be smell like raw honey hello hello we're gonna put some plaques up and we're not gonna put a lot of plaques we're gonna see if i have enough hair to put like two or three on this side and my hair is tangled I detangled my hair, and y'all saw me detangle, and I detangled it again. Just an old devil trying to get under my skin, and I ain't letting him. I'm not going to let him fight back. Resist the devil and he will flee. That's what the word said, and the word does not come back void. Hello. The word does not come back void. This is going to be very interesting because the consistency of this stuff I'm about to put on my hair is like. Oh, it's like raw honey. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like raw honey. I mean, it looks hard and everything. But I hope it looks moisturized and gives me some shine. So, this is how it looks. If I was to go to sleep, this is how it would be. It is thick. See? My finger even got stuck. Made a hole straight through it. Didn't mess up nothing. So what I'm going to do is work piece by piece. Let me rub my hands together. 
good, clear, good, clear, thick piece. I'm gonna have to add some more because I grabbed a smaller section. Smells good. It smells good. Well, you know, African Pride, they they always smell delightful. Delightful. I'm going to brush it. And I think I'm going to have some shine, y'all. I think I'm going to have some shine with this. And just braid down. I'm trying to show y'all in case my tripod goes to tripping again, which means I'll have to end this section of the video, take it back to the mechanic, my husband, and see if he can fix it again. Because she ain't acting right. And I coil the ends. Oh, this is this is even though it's hard in the in the thing of majiggy in the container it's not hard on your hair it's not hard on your hair once once you scoop it out and rub it in your hands it goes clear and you grab that piece of hair and rub it on that hair it is gone from your hands and it goes straight to your hair. Straight to your hair. Dum dum dee. Dum dum dee. Okay. I think I'm going to predict that we are going to have definition. We're going to have shine. These are the things that I'm going to predict. And we're going to have a voluminous, voluminous braid out. Okay? I'm going to make this into two. Pull the ends. Look at that. All right. So y'all saw how I do that section. You know I'm no longer showing you all me doing my whole head. I'll come back when I'm finished. I'm going to go and try to door dash some so that I can work on getting me a new tripod. Uh, because... Your girl and her channel is about to come up in Jesus' name. You hear me? And I don't want nothing stopping me. Nothing in my way. So, like I said, if you guys want to help me get a tripod, I would appreciate it. My, uh, I'm sorry. My hands are sticking in, in that buckle. Um, my cash app is down in the description box below. Real McCoy 411. I appreciate any help you guys can give me. Um, Got to get a tripod. Got to get a tripod. So, just when I thought my channel couldn't get any better and then I thought I was defeated, the devil is a lie. My channel is going to get better. And everybody's going to watch these natural hair growth channels. And I told you I would give you all some tips. Moisturize your hair keep your hair moisturized okay if you are low porosity use warm water on your hair if you have a fenugreek spritz and it's already it's been sitting up it is not warm put it in the microwave for just a little bit nuke it a little bit make it warm do as many protective styles as you can like this this go, this is going to be warm for a couple of days the way it feels, it's going to take a minute for it to dry because it is thick. So protective style in your hair is very, very important. Um, if you're going to do a wash and go and it has crunch, 
don't let the crunch stay in your hair for too long. Because then it can start to do some kind of breakage. You mess it with your hair and they'll crunch, crunch, right off. So just don't do that. Use as less tools as you can. If you need a detangling brush, use a detangling brush. But don't try to comb out your hair with a rat tail comb or anything. Use a, a wide tooth comb. Use a good detangling brush. Use a shampoo brush in the shower when you shampoo your hair. That is, Those are the three main tools that you need. Stay away from heat. That's very important. Stay away from heat. And keep your ends clipped. If you, you see your ends looking raggedy and they're not curling up or nothing, or they're not coiling at the ends, clip them. But don't use home scissors. Get you some scissors at the Annie Scissors at Sally's. They like seven, eight dollars. You get them. Clip your ends professionally. Clip it. Don't do it with just house scissors, cause then it's gonna clip wrong. It's just not gonna clip it right. Don't do it. Don't do it. Um, look at the product. Look at the ingredients that's in the products. And see if you want that to be in your hair. Like this here has. I looked at it. It's it's has is good enough to is so good that you can use it on your hair every day. Every day. It says it on there. Then it says tri-level thickening, complex volume, strength, fortify, transfer, transform fine flat, flat strands into volume full of hair with has boost thickening this is the truth i have been using this since december 2018 and my hair has grown and has gotten fuller since i've been using this every once in a while i'll use another shampoo but i will always go back to has has is the one now has is not in our section but I'm telling you, it works. It works. Use, I mean, it's all different kinds of things. Use use products that are good for you and your hair. Come up with some DIYs. Look at some DIYs. I have a rice water DIY that I use. And I use it all the time. Like, when I'm not filming, I put my rice water on my head at night. Put a deep conditioning bag from Evolve and put a bonnet over that and go to sleep and just let my rice water work. And the next day I don't rinse it out because it's a leave-in. I got it set up where it's a leave-in. So just make your hair your number one priority and your hair will make you its number one priority back. I guarantee you. So all these products that you see back here behind me are all things that I think are good for my hair. I think all of these are good for my hair. If I think something is not good for my hair, it's not on the shelf. And it's not in that cabinet over there. All my Shea Moisture is over there in that corner. Shea Moisture is good. But do I use Shea Moisture all the time? No, I do not. I just don't. No particular reason. No, just no particular reason. I just don't use it all the time. But stuff like this, that's got my hair shining and good, and I know I'm going to have some good definition. See, I only put two plaits over here and two plaits over here. I was serious. We're going to work with this. So, you all stay tuned for the takedown if I haven't talked too long. But I, I talked good knowledge. I talked wisdom. So... That's all that matters. So I'll see you guys at the takedown. And I'll speed through it so that you won't have to, you know, I'll do one and show you and then I'll speed through it so you won't have to be on here as long watching the video. Bye. What had happened was this stuff here is so thick.
and I went in hard with it. So some of my ends are straight. I should have put, but I did not know I would need perm rods at the end of the hair. I should have put perm rods at the end. This is the back. Like you don't know that shit, right? Okay. This is the back. And it still has a lot of places where I could be separated. But that stuff is so thick. The way I ended my braid is the way it stayed. It's some good stuff. But you only need a little. And you only and you need to curl your ends. That's I want my ends curl like that. You figure it was shaped like that. But it didn't. Uh. User error. Not product error. User error. But it's still cute though. She cute. <laughs> She cute though. Mm -hmm. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Because definition is there, but I want it to curl under. That's the only thing I wanted to do. I wanted it to curl under, and it didn't. And I should have knew it wasn't going to because it was straight. But if it would have curled under, so I'm just going to probably put a couple of perm rods around the ends and let it catch a shape real quick probably or probably not just not just know for next time how about that just know for next time but it came out fully de defined and it's hard it's hard. I ain't gonna lie to you. This is some hard. This is some hard stuff. Um, but the the oil that I use broke a little of that up, a little of that up, a little of it up. But I got shine. I got definition. I just wanted my ends to come in like that but it's okay that's that's okay that's not a problem see we have situations and we have problems this is a situation not a problem okay you see what i'm saying okay so what i'm gonna do is rock this bad boy here for two days because i don't like my hair I like my hair soft, but it probably soften up once I let get in the shower and let the steam hit it or something, or or accidentally wash it out or something of that nature. Accidentally put some shampoo on my hand and wash it out and wash it out, wash it out. But anywho, thank you guys for watching. Thank you. If you're new to my channel, hit that red subscribe button down below and then go over to that bell icon. That's very important because you want to click on that bell and you want to select all so you'll know when every one of my videos come out. Okay, like seriously, you want to know and you want to watch it because you learn the do's and the don'ts. And not putting the perm rod on my ends was a don't. But she's still cute though. As long as you can say that, but she's still cute though. Yeah. You alright. You alright. And when I say she, I'm talking about she. My hair. So... I would probably accidentally wash this out, deep condition it and everything, and uh, 
come back and give y'all something else very soon. How about that? How about that? Yeah. Yes. Very soon. I promise you. Very soon. But until then, bring it on. Now, that main choice, pearly braid out up there. This right here. It's going on the shelf for shame. Not everything on there is shame. No, 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 no. No, don't get me wrong. But it's going on the shelf of shame, which is in that white cabinet back there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a special place. Special place. So, um, I'll see you guys in a couple of days with a new video. Bloop. Keep God first in everything you do, and I do mean everything. And uh, just be on the lookout for a couple of days, boo. A couple of days.